Okay, welcome back to Armored Academy of Arizona. I am Rick, and we got another round breakdown here. There's an awful lot going on in this round, so um, buckle up and we'll review all of it. Uh, we've got Daniel, Skyler, and Jeremy versus me, Pike, and Matt. So let's take a look at how this thing goes. start off and you can see right away we get the two rails and the two wings are up against each other you can see Jeremy's looking for somebody to hit and Matt is doing the same thing also trying to stymie Jeremy getting a grapple now we get separated so we got a one-on-one -on -one here a one-on-one -on -one here and then these guys are looking for an opportunity to get in to the fight um, we'll go over these two first and then we'll come back to those two so you can see um, basically what's happening here is I got Daniel to start moving and I got the way I did it is I've got an underhook, I've got my shoulder shoved up into his shoulder, and you can see I've got an angle to my legs, and I am driving into him, getting him to move, and then he flattens his back, and as he does that, I'm going to try and get an Osotogari by putting this leg behind that leg, keeping that underhook, and walking him down the rail so doesn't work <laughs> Daniel manages to step out and now he's in the corner let's come back and look at Pike and Skyler so these two guys so what they got going on is Skyler gets close Pike grabs on Pike's trying to do something with Skyler He's trying to pull, he's trying to push. Now Skyler is leaning into the rail and he's just being extremely difficult to move. He's not really engaging, he's not using his weapon, he's just kind of there being very difficult for Pike to do anything. So Pike's burning a lot of energy, not getting anywhere. Um, and Pike makes a good decision here. He's working on Skyler, it's not happening, so instead he's gonna make a break over here try to make something else happen so he comes over he takes a swing at Jeremy now in the back here you can see that Daniel and I have swapped around spots a couple times we're doing some grappling but I am doing like what Skyler was doing I'm leaned up into the rail and I'm just kinda keeping Daniel away and you can see here Pike came across, engaged Jeremy, Skyler's right behind him, and this is what will normally be the case. Uh, if you break off and take off running, you can be sure that someone's right behind, um, especially if you're just engaged with someone. Odds are they're not going to change their target. They're going to continue after whoever it was they were just fighting. So that's what happens here, shoves Pike into the corner, Daniel, in the back here with me, makes a very good decision. This isn't going anywhere, so he disengages, takes off. So now I'm on my own. I've got, I see, you know, my, my center's over here with Skyler in that corner, and Pike's over there in that corner. So they got a two on one with Skyler. And I know that Jeremy's got that big weapon, and he wants to rain damage so I'm thinking about do I come in here and shut down Jeremy which is kind of what I've done so I'm two steps away I've got this big sword so if Jeremy starts swinging I should be able to get that sword in there to deflect or lessen some of those hits while these two guys work on Skylar and if Daniel wants to come charging in then I can do something about it as he comes in and you'll see that is what happens but here Matt has gotten a hold of Skyler's arm so he's doing that so and he's got one leg down here he's done that so that he can begin to stretch out Skyler and you see Pike has a hold of Skyler's head going the other direction 
um, which since it's the same shoulder that means Pike is pulling the head that way and Matt is pulling the head that way so they're actually working against each other they should probably communicate a little bit um, but anyway so we're here take a swing Daniel comes charging in now I'm not quite sure what happens here but I know what I was trying to do so find that spot yeah here we go so as Daniel's coming in he's pretty tall I, I made him taller by getting a guard and pushing his hands up that made him uh, you know a little bit more tall and when you're tall like this you're more vulnerable than you are if you're based out so what I've done is I've slipped a foot in between his and I've gotten 90 degrees and my my plan here is to do a sasse and I kinda do but um, I, th I think he got his other foot in and managed to trap my far leg so I couldn't move the way I wanted to and I ended up tripping and falling uh, I did manage to trip and drop him as well but we're both down so now we've got Skylar here holding Matt. We've got Pike not really able to get Skylar because he's in the corner. And we got Jeremy who's basically looking at these two guys trying to figure out which one he wants to take a swing at. So he's started. Okay, so he's swinging at Matt. Matt's defending. Pike comes charging in. Now Matt is wrestling with Skylar. Jeremy gets a big hit. Matt falls down. Now it's Pike all by himself. He gets trapped. And just for reference here, in both cases, right here, Skylar is not really trying to get a throw. He's just trying to expose Matt to Jeremy. He knows Jeremy is there. And he's just trying to expose Matt to a big hit, which does in fact come. Matt gets hit, he falls down, and now Jeremy's got Pike's attention, Skylar grabs him, and now Pike is in a bad spot, Jeremy tees off, hits him with a big hit, and Pike says, no, nah, that's enough, and sits down. So this was a very interesting round. You know, Skylar was getting a lot of work done by not doing much. He was just posting up against the rail waiting for Jeremy to start chopping on people and this is fine when you're hard to move and you're up against the rail so the point here is if you make a tripod which is what he's doing here he's got his back to the rail and he's got his feet stuck out and he's just putting his weight up against there as hard as he can and uh, he's he's very hard to move when he's doing that he also can't really do anything so if you notice your opponent doing that go fight somebody else you know Pike could have come over here and pushed Daniel down Matt could engage Jeremy that would leave Skylar to run and try and get a hold of somebody but um, instead he went for Jeremy which makes sense because Jeremy's got that big scary weapon and it didn't work out Jeremy just danced around and uh, you know didn't didn't happen and then Skylar was able to start getting his work done in the rail you can see again he's got his weight there and he's posted out so he's just he's just being difficult um, not particularly effective except that he is able to expose Matt and then Jeremy gets the work done here so if I'd managed to stay up then it would have been uh, a little bit different because we'd be able to have one person stymie Jeremy while uh, two people work on Skylar or maybe we get two people on Jeremy but anyways hope you found that to be informative it's definitely a long one so I hope to see you next week uh, last thing so we have an example of a good swing followed by a bad swing here. So, first the negative example. 
bad swing. So let's take a look at what makes this bad. Uh, basically, it he's just using his arms. He's just using his arms. So keep an eye on this arm. He boop. That's all it was. So there's n almost no body rotation. Actually, the rotation there is is because the weight of the sword has pulled it forward, pulled his body forward. His hips are open in the way they should be, but not until he got pulled forward. So his he started. It looks like eh, it's hard to tell. I can't really see his feet, but. Um, it's just arms. Now let's take a look at a good one. Over here you can see Jeremy's actually cutting over his leg so he could get even more power if he switched his feet but he doesn't need to because he's using his whole body in this thing. You can see he comes in, wham. You can see look at look at how much rotation he gets. The his shoulders go all the way from one side to the other. They they rotate really well. He's here. The end of it you can see oop, I had the perfect spot. Yeah. So you can see this shoulder is forward. And at the end, it's back. So that means he got all of his core, he got his legs into it, and everything. So um, that is the difference between a weak hit and a hard hit. This, this one with the little arms, not good. Um, it's just, it's a lot of effort, and it's, it's not going to hit nearly as hard. So... Alright, see you next time.